Hey, we were very blessed to have uh, some rain last night. I don't know, it's like uh, right around a half inch of rain. Checking my rain gauge there. And uh, just what I needed, because I wanted to soften up this ground out here in the front field a little bit. To, this end isn't, isn't bad, but the other end, it's got uh, some more clay in it and it's cloudy. And so I'm going to run a disc over it some. Uh, the other end, anyhow, before it dries out too much. And see if I can get it in some sort of shape. So. And I also got to go get out my corn planter. But, uh. Seat dry. Seat isn't too bad. Anyway, let me go and uh, <clears throat> should drag out the corn planter and then get some seed corn prepared. <laughs> I gotta run the uh, round baler back there anyway. Where I got the corn planter, so I'll go back and drop off the round baler and hook onto the corn planter. I'm pretty sure I got to take a air tank with me because it, there's a slow leak on one of the tires on there. So I hope it'll still hold air this year. <laughs> if not, I'll be taking it off. But that would the rain was just the right thing for ripening up my wheat. Oh, it looks good. I think we're going to harvest it a little early this year, maybe. That's one field of it, anyway. Uh, taking a couple minutes to work on my, well, the old pulling tractor. I took the exhaust pipe off, had put a couple more cross bolts in it for uh, safety. If your turbo comes apart, you're supposed to have cross bolts in it to uh, keep the shrapnel the biggest piece is inside there so I put already had two in there but they were kind of at the end of the elbow I put them two more right down there next to the turbo so be a little safer anyway I'm going out here and see if I can knock down some of those clods up the other end Put some of my custom blended fuel in here, uh, about 10 gallons. Oh, it's working in the other tractors. I figured I'd try it in this, so we'll give her a little workout and see what happens. You can see how this is a little more cloudy up here. I'm hoping that some of these clouds will break up from. Haven't gotten a little bit of rain on them. So. We'll see how it does. I got to plant it no matter how it turns out. Seem like it kind of shaped up pretty good. I'll go work on getting the planter ready, I guess. Well, I got the uh, corn planter out and hooked up and just got to grease him. I cleaned it out pretty good last year, so should just be able to throw the corn in and hop out in the field. Uh, first I need some corn. So I got to get my seed. So I'm going to shell my seed. I saved some of this corn. This is my own special blend. <laughs> Been kind of saving it and uh, the seed over and over and picking out the better ears and 
That ain't a bad looking ear. It's got some red ears in it too. And uh, they're not too bad. It's a lot of times the big ears, the biggest ears get away from me and uh, but these ain't too terrible. run it through the sheller and clean it a little bit and put her in the planter and hop out in the field and plant it so let's get going You put the ear in there and the shell corn comes out the bottom and the cob comes out this end over here. This is a an antique uh, corn sheller. Normally has a handle on this and this is the first year that I, I'm going to crank. This is the first year I have that electric motor hooked up. I just got tired of cranking the thing to uh, shell all that corn. Um, kind of awkward to feed it in with one hand while you turn the crank with the other and I don't know it just works out better this way. It's turned a little bit faster than I'd like but it's working. And I kind of have to take these buckets and find a good windy spot and dump it from one bucket to the other and uh, while the wind blows some of the uh, trash away to chaff or silk or whatever that causes problems. I'll show you that. Of course, wind always seems to die down whenever you need it to be blowing. There's a little bit of a breeze coming. A little bit of a breeze coming. You see something in there you got to pull out? He's a cob or something. See if it's got uh, trash and pieces of silk in there, it messes up the. It kind of builds up in the bottom of the plant or hopper and messes up how it's planting. So. Well, I got the corn in the hoppers. Just got some uh, oil on the chains, and I'll hit them a couple of grease fittings, and then we'll take her out in the field.
check them hoppers and see how much corn I got in it. I got about a third of the field planted. Oh yeah. I guess it's coming out. <laughs> Yep, got plenty of corn in there yet. Well, I had a chain jump off. This chain had jumped off. It's on the wrong side of the um, tightener anyhow. It's on there wrong. I don't know. Must have set it up in a hurry last year. I don't know. Maybe it came. I remember the chain came off once last year. And I stuck it back on. But I must have put it on the wrong side of the tightener uh, idler. So. I don't have no idea how much corn didn't get how many rows didn't get planted I'll have to figure that out before I go back out there and uh, go over all the rows so let me get this chain on the right side and tighten it and then uh, I'll see if I can figure which rows don't have corn in <laughs> it's always something that's farming that's farming anyhow <laughs> It's just about supper time. I wanted to get this uh, corn planter fixed. I figured out where it stopped planting that kind of. So, <laughs> it's pretty close. I would have been farther along, but I uh, had a visitor. Charlie stopped by. Yes, that's right. The world famous uh, Charlie, a.k.a. Charlie Calhoun. Uh, is his uh, screen name but the real Charlie stopped by and uh, he likes to talk he did tell a little story on himself uh, he couldn't find his hedge trimmers and he knew somebody had stolen them because he looked and looked couldn't find them so he went and bought a new pair of them and uh, couldn't find where to put them, then he saw the perfect place for them up, up on the top of his, uh, he's got a, a press, hydraulic press, you know, with the jack on it. And where the, the top of it is, it's got the uh, channel iron there. He said it'd be just the right length, just perfect to keep that there. He went to put it up there, and there was his other ones, right there, <laughs> where he kept them. <laughs> so, anyhow, but, uh, well, I'm going to put this fix this chain, put it on the right side of the tensioner, and uh, probably get something neat right there after supper and uh, finish planting that corn. So anyway, I'll sign off, and we'll, uh, I guess, uh, see you for tractor church. All right, have a good one. Catch you later. I must be losing it. <laughs> it was right before, now it's wrong. So I got to put it back the way it was. Yep. Had my tension side mixed up with my slack side. Happens to all of us at some point in life, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get back to work. See ya. See ya. <laughs>